Hello, I'm here to do a couple of ink swatches for the new inks that I got for Christmas. The first one, which has already been mentioned in another video, is the Pelican Edelstein Moonstone, which comes in this very beautiful jar. The next two are Robert Oster, and the first one is River of Fire. The second one is Honeybee, which is sentimental because my husband picked these colors out and he was a beekeeper for a couple of years. So um, that obviously has some sentimental value. And then the last one is Ackerman. And I think it's Den Haag but it is a green. Hof Quartier Grun, Grun. Not gonna say that right. I'm terrible with other languages. Um, but this is a really cool bottle. Um, there's a little, uh, ooh, yeah, there, marble in there. And that fits into this neck of the bottle. So you can, um, get ink up into the top and then when you sit it up the ball drops and then you have this little section of ink up here and all of this is, is protected. So it's a really cool bottle. Um, very interesting design but you can you can see a little bit that marble you can see right there, that little bottom of it right there. So let's start with the Edelstein Moonstone. And we're actually gonna swatch it on two different papers. We'll swatch it on the Cream Tomoe River and the White Cosmo Air Light. So Christmas for me was a wonderful day. I was a little disappointed. Uh, I was supposed to have some family that were traveling. Um, they were supposed to come down for Christmas, but they um, decided not to. Uh, um, and I found out about that yesterday. So I was a little disappointed. I had prepared for a, a much larger gathering for dinner and so I had I had extra food but that's okay I will have some leftovers so this is the Pelican Edelstein Moonstone I'll do just a little bit of drawing with this. My son really wants a gaming PC, which is very expensive. And it's his birthday next month. So we've told him he can ask for money and gift cards for Christmas and his birthday. And then we'll figure out chores and such to do for whatever the remaining balance is. So he got some money from some of our, uh, we call them family, friends at our family and uh, both sets of grandparents to go towards that computer. So he's pretty excited about that, but now it's gonna start the, the countdown of waiting and he's gonna struggle a little bit with that process, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine. All right, 
Next, let's do the Ackerman. That's tight. There we go. That was a tight cap. So here's the here's the top. Oh wow. So my husband told me he picked out colors that he hadn't seen me um, use or write with or uh, swatch on my channel. I would definitely agree. But this is beautiful. Let's go with, hmm. I don't know what word to go with in terms or what to go with for the color. I guess let's do this. Uh, sure, let's do that. Uh, other than the money towards the computer, he got a lot of books. He is a very big reader and he got some um, coding uh, activities. That was a lot of what Santa brought him was some coding things. Um, so he is in fifth grade, but he has the opportunity to join the middle school computer club and he's been doing that this year and they've been working on coding and he really likes it so i figured or santa figured it would be good to have him build up things that he can practice coding with so one is a robot that he can download an app on like an iPod touch and um, do some coding to make it move, which sounds pretty cool. And another is a snap circuit set that he can turn into an arcade and uh, build a bunch of different games that light up and things. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited to see him use those things all right let's do honeybee which based on the little top it seems like it's got some nice shading so i'm really interested to try that out seems like a little bit of a rusty yellow maybe oh wow Oh wow, I really like this color. Yep, that's a terrible bee. Yeah, I tried. That was off the cuff right there. Trying to get closer view because I really like when I see it close up and you know can somewhat watch the ink dry. So hopefully this is a nice view for everyone. So Robert Oster, honeybee. Pretty. Oop. 
to miss my class. And the fourth one, oh, these are all very different. River of Fire. Bottle looks a little bit, or it looks very teal. So let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that one. Not an ink I would have picked out for sure, but that is a beautiful ink. So let's take a final look. We've got the cream Tomoe River paper. That's got nice shading. That has really nice, that has nice shading. Look how bright that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Not a color I ever would have picked out, but I really like that. And then, in the white Cosmo Air, Also very beautiful. Oh, that has a little bit of red sheen around the edge. Oh, fascinating. Oh, it does. Yes. It's almost a it's almost a pink sheen. It's such a bright red. I wonder, is that showing up on the Tomoe River paper? It does. Not as much, but it is, there is a, a sheen. So those are my Christmas inks. I love them. I'm so happy. I'm a happy girl. Thank you for watching. Uh, what, what inks, if any, did you get for, for Christmas? And were they inks on your list or were you surprised? Leave a note down in the comments.